Hello everybody, what is going on? It's Brian with you from the Game Common and we are playing some more Total War Warhammer. We are <sighs> continuing with our Dark Elf campaign. Uh, you can tell what I've been playing all day apparently. Um, we're continuing with Civ 6 and Githarja. Okay, next turn. Um, everyone loves us. We're getting to the point where... I t do I need salt? I guess I need salt, so sure. And he's going to give me just 8 gold, so... We're getting to the point, though, where we need to start massing units, uh, missionaries and whatnot, so we can start spreading our religion. I wonder if we can end this game pretty quickly. Uh, religious victory, I am leading. So... I have to convert... every other religion to my religion, if I remember correctly. Here we go. Religious victory. You must become predominant religion in every civilization, so we have to get at least 50% following me. So, right now, um, one of eight is converted to, yeah, so we're one of eight, one of eight, one of eight, one of eight. Yeah, that sucks. So, we just need to start spamming out missionaries, essentially, is where we're getting to. Um, so you need to spread again. And you are now Hindu. So then, I probably want to bring you down here and put a little more pressure on Toledo. The thing is, Spain, at this point should be predominantly Hindu. One of eight, still not. Interesting. I think that's wrong. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that out there. Because like, let's look. We have five out of nine. So that's over half. Six out of 11 is over half. I guess we're missing two, four there and three out of one. So, okay, we're barely, barely, barely behind on that. Um, where did the hurt guy go? He went over here. You're not running away from me. I'm watching you. Where is our guru? He's coming over there. Let's bring you over there. And then I need you just to come here and heal. Oh, freaking roads. Come on, trader. I need you to go a little bit quicker so we can get roads here. Okay, so we're going to build a mine there. Um, next turn, we'll figure out what to do with him because he's got one more build. We're just going to skip your turn. Um, probably keep you here healing. And let's go move you out. And see if we can find anyone to shoot. Um, yo. I don't like you. Stay away from my territory right now. Keep going this way. Uh, we'll skip the next turn. We'll go south. Um, we're gonna skip with you because you can't do anything else Pff, They have a catapult and they can shoot me with their catapult. So let's just kind of go up this way Okay, so we've pretty much explored the entire world now at this point We just have a little bit more up there, and I think we can see everything now Except a couple spaces game's starting to lag because we're getting a little too large, but that's fine You still got a ways to go before you get um, any decent locations. And I think we just squish you. Oh, we can't squish you. Next turn we can squish you. Oh, they actually just moved into my territory. Uh, okay, I don't think they can do much about, uh, uh, they can do much, so I'm fine with that. You need more housing, which means we need more uh, 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 compas, no, Jumbas, no. What? Indonesia. Where? Campos. Campos. Why? It doesn't. Uh, Kapong! There we go. I remembered. Uh. Where else do we want to settle? That's a good question. We're sending another settler up to that northwestern spot, which fall, I think is good. You must so. We have new science, which means we can go for astronomy, but we still won't be boosted for seven more turns. So, three turns, four turns, we're done. I think I'd rather go like five and then seven. So let's do banking. Great Zimbabwe. Trade routes get plus two gold for every bonus resource within three tiles of the city and the city's territories. It actually seems really, really good. It must be built adjacent to market and adjacent to cattle. I don't think I have cattle. Yeah, I don't think I've seen cattle. Are there any cows anywhere? Maybe up here? 
deer. I don't see cattle at all. Oh, there we go. Cattle. Yeah, so that one's maybe not going to happen. Unless, of course, no one else has cattle. There might actually just not be a lot of cattle. That, eh, Toledo has some. But that's going to be pretty crappy production. But it's going to take us a while before we actually get it. The arsenal, I just don't care about. Shipyard would be okay. You know, let's go for the musket, man. We have niter. Or at least we have niter near us. So we can... Um, we can potentially start purchasing them. I think I'm going to bring you back here just to help protect my borders over there. We're going to bring you down here. Just keep exploring. And then we're ready to squish. Thank you. And there's our gold. And they ended up killing this other guy. So that's good for us. Okay. Um, keep blocking. It's kind of my goal right now. I don't want you to settle over here, you little punk. Crossbowmen. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I actually didn't mean to move you out yet because you're still healing, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so we need to find a spot for you. Potentially here would be really good, but I think we're going to build... Now, we're building our industrial site here. So, actually, we do want to build you here because we want to get as much bonus for this industrial site as possible. So, sure, we'll build it there. Even though we're not going to use it right now. Um, let's move you up here. Now, this doesn't make sense. This is really stupid because you can convert a city while sitting in the water. So literally a workaround if the enemy has a lot of missionaries or rather a lot of um, uh, apostles and or um, uh, inquisitors is you just stay in the water and convert the cities that way, which kind of sucks. OK, so we're converting in 304 turns. You're actually Hindu. So we actually have a lot of pressure on Jerusalem right now. Let's go put you in front. We're going to go put you here. Just kind of lock them down for now. Settler is moving over here. No one settled, so that's good. Who else needs to move? Oh, yeah, we have another missionary. So we're going to come here. And get. Oh, and we just straight converted Toledo. So. So. Boom. Two of eight. Yeah. So he should like me more now that we're part of the same religion. 18 for ally, 5 for declared friend, 3 we sent them delegation, same government, friendly meeting, favorable trades, open borders, they're following our religion. Yeah. Uh. 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 He still doesn't like me because of the converted religious cities. Like, when are you ever going to freaking, like, stop caring about that? Do you want an ally? He actually will. Will you give me something for it? He will make an alliance and give me one gold for 30 turns and nine gold. All right. I will ally with you too. Now, we should be fairly well protected away from anyone just doing random war on us. I actually wanted to... Do I really want to... Hmm. Nah. Nah. I'm not. I'm not. I will send a delegation, but I'm not going to be your friend. <laughs> I have a lot of baggage when it comes to Pedro. Ah, freaking. What's funny is everyone loves me. I have never actually played a game like this where I've had this many people ally with me. Never. I wonder if maybe part of the update is they've actually just made them more likely to ally with you. We also have a barbarian encampment spawned somewhere near us. Um, we can't actually safely get away. So we're going to come down there, start healing. Actually, no, we're just going to go as far away as possible. We got a new civic, so I think we're going to go for mercenaries so we can get another envoy. And then we can do our young, our Zhang. Oh, God, they're so good. It repl replaces the frigate. Do we even get the frigate? Oh, it replaces the frigate. Gotcha. And the frigate replaces the quadrame, so it's a shooting one. Yeah, because it's ranged. I can dig. I can dig. Um, formation units all inherit escorts movement speed of plus five. Oh, okay. So can I escort missionaries? I wouldn't see why not. We're still suzerain of these same two. We could actually become suzerain here of Yerevan. We also could just grab, and eh, that doesn't help me. Campus district. 
We're going to get another one in four turns. So let's go Yervin right now. And so now we're suzerain. Man, man. So we're suzerain of four freaking city states. And we have three allies. What the actual heck happened in this game? Uh, I don't think I've ever seen either of those. Uh, crap. Where'd he go? He ran down here. Get your butt back here, you little punk. You are not getting away from me. Like, all I am doing at this point is driving around chasing after him. This is really annoying. I wish I wish I could just shoot him in the water. I probably should just let him go and start focusing on this crap that's happening up here. But it's kind of the point of it all. Should we just buy another apostle? I think we should. Especially while we have the boost. Um, so grab me another apostle. Because now we can purchase any of them. So we can keep giving them religious strength. Which seems really good for us. <sighs> I want you here. You just stay out of my territory. Okay, I have blocked him. There's no way he can actually go this way. Because he doesn't have enough movement to get past me. We're going to skip your turn. Um, you're going to go ahead and build the mine. We're going to grow in a turn. We're going to push you up here. We're going to push you up here. We actually have a goodie hut we're going to grab. Yay. And it doesn't look like he has anything left to defend it. Go us. So Spain built a campus. We actually make it. Ah, dang it. <laughs> uh, yay us. No longer yay us. Yay. Um, do we want to go up here? We can't shoot in either spot. Like, that's going to require two movements. So we might as well go up there for the protection. And we will go here. Fossil unit available for promotion. You freaking punk. Who did it? Who freaking did it? I'm so mad right now. Because I can't grab any freaking promotion. Who? Who? Oh, I hate him. I hate him so much. Ugh. So now... Oh, oh, we still get the boost. We still get the boost. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we provide extra healing to units within one tile. Eh, relic is created. Eh, I think we're just going to take the debater again. Three extra spreads when moving adjacent to a natural wonder. Religion spread is tripled strength in cities of other civilizations. Religious spread eliminates 75% existing pressure from other religions in target city. Dang. These are actually really, really all good. Here's the downside. I'm never going to be able to get another debater because I think once you have a promotion, I don't think one of your other units can get it. And this is really good for combat. Religious combat, at least. But being able to remove 75% four times is ridiculously powerful. But where, I mean, this would be really good just to kind of like push, like I could go right into his capital and just wreck his religious strength up here. He's actually getting a lot of pressure towards me. He's getting some pressure towards me. Spread is triple strength in cities of other civilizations. So we could do like six people. I think we got to do proselyzer. We're just going to send him up here. We're just going to go straight for his capital. His religious holy site center, however we want to call it. Uh, hmm. We could pillage a trade out now. We're just going to heal. Uh, we'll bring you down here. Now that we've completely explored the continent once again, I will bring you all the way back here. We lost our... Our boost, which is fine, for the fact that we're suzerain. I did not want to actually go there, but that's fine. If he actually goes up here, I can get up there and hopefully kill him next turn. We'll see. That's our goal, just to trap him. Just to trap him. It's like, man, we're freaking chasing the the missionary, or not the missionary, the the settler all over again. <laughs> uh, keep going over here. There's so many freaking missionaries rolling around right now. I just need to like start converting. Well, actually, whoa, this is Spanish missionaries. 
Do we not see a Spanish missionary? No, I think it's the Brazil one. If Spain wants to start producing missionaries. I'm all for that. They just don't seem to care, which is kind of hilarious. And the funny thing is, Spain is actually pretty heavily focused, I thought, on, uh, on, on religion in this particular game. Okay, so I can't do anything with you. We're going to skip you, but at least you caught up. He's going to run away again. I'm just wasting time right now. I should just let him go. We can't do it. Crap. He came out at me. Probably okay. He's really hurt. Let's go ahead and just go up on the goodie hut. So we have more defensive boost. Um, so if he does attack me, he'll probably just suicide into me. Which I think is fine. We're going to go ahead and just alert you. We got enough faith to do an Inquisitor. We can get military tactics 50%. How many turns? Five turns, and we can start producing crap over here. God, I want you to speed up. Um, we actually can't even do missionaries right now. Yeah, we don't have enough faith. I really need to boost our faith. Yeah, anywhere we have an option to build faith, I think is going to be good for us. Okay, you are the one that we just healed. No, you're the one that we just leveled. You're the one we just healed. So let's go send you up here. Let's get some combat going again. And you know what? I think I'm, I'm I'm done with it. Let's just send our units back up. We have an Inquisitor. We have an Apostle. We have an Apostle. And we're just going to start sending them up. Let them do whatever he wants. I don't care anymore. <laughs> uh, we want to keep you here because in two turns we can actually level you up. That might be my only quadrant. Uh, You're going to heal. Actually, we're going to promote. When defending against ranged attacks or melee, uh, scale walls, anti calve Buddy in district. Hmm. Let's do tortoise. Let's go the right tree. How is we're 11 away and we're gaining how much per turn? Five. So we're two turns away. So we could purchase it for 300 gold right now. Triggers the Eureka moment for two random technologies from the industrial and modern era. Reveals oil. Yeah, actually, that seems really good. Yeah, I'm okay with that. We can kind of see whether or not we are good for oil. Uh, you want one of my irons. And you want silk. And you're going to give me marble and five gold for 30 turns. Go ahead. You can take it. You can take it. He called me friend, by the way, but we're not friends. Uh, okay, he likes me. He just likes the fact... Actually... He lost the happy, happy symbol. And we did kill him, and we got a promotion. So let's go ahead and grab it. We'll go left on you, this one. And we'll come down here. And next turn, we should be able to grab it. Philip run its course. Uh, hey, Phil. Buddy. Hi. No! Why? What the actual heck? There is no reason you won't. Why would you not want to be my friend? Give me a freaking prank. Doesn't make sense. Why did I just make the kissing sound? That was, I was like pursing my lips and I made the kissing sound. So apologize. That was weird. <laughs> that was weird for me. So I imagine that was really weird for you guys. Uh, okay. You're just going to fortify. <sighs> He's still over there. I don't care. I don't care. Just get up here. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just get out of this freaking place. Let's get out of this town. Sing us some Kygo. Uh, we still have regular archer here. One thing I wanted to do, we have plenty of money right now again. So let's go ahead and purchase a builder. And I want you to start building me some miter, um, niter, which I'm actually going to need here pretty quickly. That was one source of niter. The other one's up over here. Yeah. I may... May... Want to purchase a builder here. 420. We're just going to be short. Two turns we can grab that. But I can start upgrading. And this should just be an upgrade from... All my swordsmen, if I remember correctly. So, Alliance has run its course. Saladin's run its course. Yeah, yeah. We have enough faith to purchase missionary and a warrior monk. I'm going to hold off 
because I think we're just going to start purchasing those at our northern coast. We just spread our religion hard up here. Where else would we spread it? He's already pretty much loving me. You're going to convert in 99, convert in 70. So we could actually just come over here and get the rest of Mabanza. The Congo. And then we do need to send it over to Germany. So we don't really have anyone close to Germany. So maybe unless we can get a holy set up here. That's kind of our push towards Germany. Do we need four? How many do we need? Do we have to have all of them? In every civilization of the game. Okay, so obviously that's going to piss off Saladin when we do it. Um, so I think what we could do, and tell me if this isn't true, but should I not just be able to cap him by pushing all my pressure? And if he's complete and totally uh, Hindu, Buddhism's dead at that point. Because if all his cities are Hindu, he can't actually purchase any Hindu units. So maybe we just want to go focus up there as much as we can right now. You, we're just going to skip one more turn. And the next turn, we're going to be able to upgrade you. But for now, let's wrap up this episode here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. Any advice you guys may have for me. And as always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, come in, show your support. I'll see you guys next episode. Bye.